Hi, welcome back. In today's video, I want to show you a property near the beach here in the south of Brazil. And this property is in a gated community. It has three bedrooms, five bathrooms and a swimming pool. And the total size of the property is 250 square meters, which is 2,700 square feet. But that includes the garage or the carport. And the total plot of land is 430 square meters, which is 4,600 square feet. And the price of the property is 2.5 million reais, which is $445,000. And this house is in a gated community in the town of Torres, which is a medium-sized town, about 40,000 inhabitants. And it's located in Rio Grande do Sul, in the far south of Brazil. Now, in my opinion, Torres has the nicest beaches in the state of Rio Grande do Sul. I mean, in general, in this state, the beaches aren't the, the best, and that's because generally they're, they're quite big, quite straight, and so there's a fair bit of wind, the water can be a bit cold, and, and there can also be a fair bit of algae in the water as well, which turns it brown. And, then, and also, there, in general, there isn't that much vegetation and kind of mountains surrounding the beaches as well. But in Torres, the beaches are a bit nice, the water's a bit warmer, a bit more clear, turquoise, and you do have some mountains and vegetation around some of the beaches. So in general, the, the beaches are a bit nicer here. And this property is located in the gated community, which has 24-hour security, a swimming pool, gym, artificial lake, tennis courts, and playground. So it's a nice area, but it is located a bit away from the beach, so you would have to drive 5-10 uh, minutes to actually get to the beaches in Torres. And the real estate agent selling this property is Edgivan Santos, so I'll leave a link to him in the description below. So let's have a look at the property. So it's a nice modern style house, big windows. It looks like it has two stories, but actually no, it's just one story, so it's a bungalow. Um, it just has very high ceilings inside. And then you can see the neighbor's house here is under construction. So there's a fair bit of houses being built in this gated community. And so you have a driveway here to the right, and then you kind of have a carport, not a garage. There's no garage with a garage door. So it's just this space here where you can park two cars. And it's, it's very common here in Brazil for houses just to have this kind of carport space rather than have a proper garage with a door. And this area here at the end is just a storage area so it's not a garage door where you can park a car. Now two entrances to the property, you've got this side door here, which I guess you would use the most, which when you park your car, and then here to the left you've got the, the main door. Uh, the property's got some big windows, high ceilings, you've even got windows at the top there, you can see near the ceiling, lots of patio doors as well. So this is a very open plan area, so you would have the living room as you come in, and then at the end there would be the kitchen. And the pipes and cables sticking up there in the middle are for a kitchen island. But when you buy this property, there's no kitchen that comes with it, so the buyer would have to install it, um, which is very common here in Brazil. And the fireplace as well, so you can see the fireplace here to the left. And throughout the property, including the bedrooms, they've installed these grey tiles, which is nice. I mean, me being Swedish, I prefer <laughs> wooden floors. And then at the end here, you can see this here is a charcoal barbecue, which nearly every property in the south of Brazil has. And then at the far end, you've got patio doors leading out to the swimming pool, but we'll look at that later. So now let's have a look at the bathrooms and the bedrooms. So this is the, the first little bathroom. So this would just be for a sink and toilet. And then this is the first bedroom. So all these bedrooms are en suites. 
and they're all good size. You can definitely fit a double bed in here. And the bathrooms also look nice with these marble tiles. And again, the, the buyer would need to install all the fixtures and fittings in the bathrooms, a toilet, sink and shower and everything. And in these bedrooms you have electric shutters, which is very common in Brazil and it acts to obviously block out the light and also when people leave the property usually they close the shutters for a bit more security. And they've got mosquito nets on all the windows which is very good because that's definitely something that you need here in the South Brazil because there are a lot of mosquitoes especially in summertime. And you can see the, the view from the bedroom window isn't the best so the neighbor's house is pretty close so the bedroom basically just looks out at the, the neighbor's house. Okay, so that was the first bedroom. This is the second bedroom, so similar size. Again, the window just looks out at the neighbor's house and a nice ensuite bathroom. And also with the electric shutters and the mosquito net. And then this is the master bedroom. Now this has a much nicer view with nice patio doors. And then a, a bigger ensuite bathroom in here. This is a very nice bedroom. So this master bedroom is 20 square meters, 215 square feet. So from this bedroom you can see the back garden, the swimming pool and the artificial lake as well. Okay, so now let's have a look at the barbecue area, the laundry room and the back garden. So here you can see the charcoal barbecue, quite a big barbecue actually. So Brazilians love to have their barbecues at the weekend with friends and family. And then this door here leads to the laundry room or the utility room. And then you've got a door here which leads out to the side garden. And then this little space you can see in front of us here is for the gas canisters which supplies gas for the hot water and also the kitchen. So you've got some big patio doors here and these slide all the way to the end so you can totally open up this space if you want to. Because you can see that the patio outside is very small but then if you open up the doors completely then you have a much bigger space. So now you've got a nice area to sit outside and, and eat and entertain. And then this black door here is for the outside bathroom, which is very common here in the south of Brazil. If you have a swimming pool, they want to have a bathroom outside. And here's the swimming pool. Not the biggest, but an okay size. And then you have a small lawn here, and then that leads out to the artificial lake. And here you can see the neighbor's house, which is under construction. So once it's finished, they would remove this green wall and probably um, plant some bushes instead. So the artificial lake is, is very nice, and, and then you can see some of the neighbor's properties on the other side. And there's still some empty plots of land where I guess someone's going to construct a house in the future. But then also some of them, I think, have bought two plots of land. So they've built the house on one, and then they're using the other plot as kind of a garden. Yeah, so this gated community still has lots of plots of land for sale. And I had a look at the prices, and the prices are about 400,000 to 500,000 HIIs to buy a plot of land in this gated community. So that's $80,000 to $100,000. I mean, it's, so it's definitely possible to, to live here and spend 
a lot less than this 2.5 million that they're asking for this house. You could, so I mean, you could buy a plot of land for 400,000 TIs and then build a smaller house on this plot of land. Obviously the community has lots of rules about what kind of house you can build. So you, so you can't build some tiny little wooden cabin on the land. No, it needs to be a substantial house, also be made of brick. So there's lots of rules. But you can definitely spend less than 2.5 million TI's building house. But then it takes time to build it as well. So this here is ready to move in. But buying a piece of land and building it, you're talking, you know, over a year before you can move in. Okay, and that's the property. So uh, overall, I think it's a, a nice house. I like the, the living room with the high ceilings. The bedrooms are a good size. And then also the gated community is very nice with the, the lake and all the facilities. So uh, overall, I think it's a, a nice house. Now for me, the, the negatives are one, the fact that this gated community is located you know, a five, 10 minute drive away from the beach. So it's not like you can just leave the house and walk to the beach. Now you have to put everything in the car and drive to the beach. And in summertime, Toys gets very, very busy. So I mean, in wintertime it has a population around 40,000, but in summertime it explodes to 250,000. So that's kind of December, January, February. So during that peak period, if you want to go to the beach, you're going to have to drive from the property into Torres. There's going to be a fair bit of traffic, difficult to find parking, so you just have to be aware of that. And also, the garden isn't the biggest, so the two smaller bedrooms kind of just look out onto the, the neighbor's house. And also, the, the back garden isn't the biggest as well. And then finally, the price as well, so 2.5 million HIs, so 445,000 dollars is a lot for a property here in the south of Brazil. Like I said, you can buy a plot of land and build something for a lot less. And I personally would prefer to buy a property in Santa Catarina rather than Rio Grande do Sul. So even though the beaches are nicer here in Torres, if you travel further north for one or two hours, you'll get to some even nicer beaches. Okay, so if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe. If you've got any questions or anything, leave them in the commentary below. So thanks for watching. Until next time.